Hey everybody and welcome to day 11 of our 21 days of prayer. Today we have a special video from Danielle Bastian and she is going to be sharing with us how for her prayer has taken a journey from something that you sort of just did to something that is really personal. And I hope for you that you receive the same kind of encouragement in your life that she has experienced in her own life of prayer. Hi, I'm Danielle Bastian, and I've been asked to share a little bit about my prayer life. So for me, it's been a long journey kind of developing up my prayer life. Um, so I grew up in the Catholic Church, and for me it was, praying was very much about like repetition and memorizing and it wasn't really about talking honestly to God and it took me a long time to realize that I don't have to have the perfect words to say um, you know I don't have to have the perfect prayer but I can just be open and honest and vulnerable with God and I mean, he already knows what's in my heart and on my mind, but just reaching out to him when I am struggling or when I'm excited or when I'm hopeful or really any range of emotions, just spending time talking with him one-on-one. -on -one. I like to do this a lot when I'm driving because I, I commute a lot for work and it's just nice to have that time where I'm just being true and real and just having that vulnerability. And I, I think it's praying is such a special thing for me because I can tell God all, all of my fears and my worries and my struggles and, you know, maybe things that I wouldn't want to talk with other people about. And praying, praying has also just been such a gift to be able to to do for other people um recently i had a friend whose child was having kind of an emergency medical situation and really like there's nothing i could do in that situation to help other than pray and that felt really empowering to be able to do that for for my friend and you know, for me, it's just been, gosh, I, you know, so many ups and downs in my life. I mean, there was a time when I was really struggling with depression and I felt very hopeless. And all I could do was just pray to God to just help pull me out of that darkness that I was feeling. And, you know, I think there are times when we're in such a difficult spot where we don't know what to do and we and nobody else knows what to do and it just feels really hard and all we can do at that point is just pray to him that he will deliver us you know he will comfort us and be with us through that difficult time and that is such a comfort for me it's such a reassurance to know that he cares about every little thing that I would ever tell him um you know even if it's just a simple thing I know that he cares and he wants to hear from me I praying is is a conversation and you know it's so nice to talk to somebody who really cares about you and I know that God does and that's what makes praying really special um, you know, but obviously there are times when I felt like I didn't know if he was listening to me and it felt like I was talking or, you know, if I'm doing a silent prayer, just kind of thinking to myself, but there are other times when it's just so clear that, you know, that I've been in communication with him and I can feel it. I can feel the Holy Spirit just making that connection for me and it's 
it's a great feeling to have. And I think just as you, as you do it more, as you're more consistent and diligent about praying, it just becomes easier and it doesn't feel as complicated, I guess I would say. Um, Cause it really doesn't, praying doesn't have to be anything. It doesn't have to be special words and it doesn't have to be you know, said in a certain way. I mean, I think that works for some people, but you know, for me, I just want to be me and I just want to come to God with who I am. And, you know, sometimes my prayers are so simple. They're just, you know, Lord, help me because I don't know what to do. And, you know, sometimes it's with tears streaming down my face and, and that's all I can muster up. But that's, that's enough. That's enough for him to, to be there with me. Another part of praying that's been really important for me lately is to be praying even when things are going well, because I think it's really easy to pray when things are difficult and when life just gets really hard, but I've been really trying to be diligent about praying, you know, being thankful and praying, giving God thanks and praise. And just having that gratitude for all the things that he has done and will continue to do and for everything that I know I don't deserve that he has blessed me with. And, you know, I don't I don't want to just go to him when I am struggling or when I need him. I want to go to him at all times for all things. And that's just been really important for me. And also just I've been so feeling so empowered to to pray for others pray for my friends and family I, I just think there's so many opportunities to do that and it's so powerful when you have a group of believers coming together and praying together for a, a specific issue I just can sense that God is there in that time and he is moving and working and there's just something very powerful about that. Um, yeah, so that's me and that's where I'm at in my, um, my prayer life. And you know, I just hope to, I hope to develop it more and more as I go through life. And I hope that everybody can, can have that kind of personal communication with God, have that feeling of community with him, um, you know, in all, in all times of life. Oh, I hope that encourages you today to be a person who makes prayer a personal part of your life. There are all kinds of different methods, all kinds of different ways of making prayer a part of your life. But at the very least, however it's done, it should be based on a personal relationship between you and God. Let me pray for you today. God, I just ask that you would meet with everybody who's watching this little video today. Meet with all of us and help us to recognize that you are a personal God who wants a direct relationship with us. Thank you that you give us the opportunity to pray, to reach out to you, and to have a relationship with you. And God, I just ask that you would be at work in our hearts all day, that we might be people in relationship with you, and that that would drive our prayers. Thanks for listening to us. Thanks for being with us. We ask you'd continue to go with us today in Jesus' name. Amen. Amen. Make this whole day a day of prayer, personally, for you. God bless you.